All right, I'm here to tell you about the disc brake conversion that I have designed and I've sold successfully to many, many, many people. I've sold out uh, multiple batches and everybody's been happy with them. The only drawback to this kit is wheel selection. But other than that, <clears throat> it's a very affordable way to put uh, very good braking systems onto these old Mopars. Now, I sold the adapters for $110 and they bolt on 2005 through 2014 Mustang calipers and rotors. Uh, <clears throat> some people have used Dodge disc brake hoses with the Ford Banjo successfully. Others have adapted using little brass fittings at the line because these are going to be a metric fitting and obviously the charger is going to be an old standard fitting. Um, and it comes out to be a very affordable setup. Uh, this, for example, for the front of mine, it cost me $150 for a pair of calipers and rotors. And yeah, they're rusted now because I've had to deal with other things and so I haven't been able to put any time on this project. But I have successfully sold dozens and dozens of sets of these brakes to people that were very happy with them. Now, the <clears throat> rotor sizes that work are 11.5, 12.4, 13.2, or if you're going with the Shelby Brumbos, depending on what year, 14 inch four piston or 15 inch six piston. These are the cheapest and the best brakes you could put on these cars. Now, how are they the cheapest? Like I said, you can get dirt cheap used brakes off a of Mustang, either at the wrecking yard or from Craigslist or something, and get it in it very affordably for anywhere from 50 to $100 less than the reproduction Mopar spindles and brakes for a better braking system only drawback is they don't fit a 15 inch wheel i get that ass a lot and they do not the 11.8s on the rear do fit some 15 inch wheels but not all that's why i'd say it's safer to go with 16 or 17 uh <clears throat> the absolute minimum wheel is a 16. now how is it the best the biggest braking system currently available for these cars if you're not using these adapters if you're using willwood hubs and everything else um is going to be 14 inch six piston willwoods they're not a brad braking system uh they're several thousand dollars they're very good uh and they do what they do now these brakes allow you to use shelby calipers and rotors again on your stock drum spindles so it's bolt on you don't even have to change your alignment and it lets you use 14 inch brembos and by the way those brembos remanufactured on rock auto currently because prices may change uh as of today though they're 96 dollars including the core per caliper and then the rotors depending on which one you want they're 45 dollars each or they're nicer ones or you know they go up from there but you can get two-piece rotors you can get single piece rotors you name it whatever your wallet allows you can do now <clears throat> the 2012 and 2000 i think the 2013 and 14 shelby's for sure they got a 15 inch six piston brembo and those calipers um with the 13.8 rears they were I think at the time 1700 brand new from Ford with all the brackets and everything. That's the hardware. Uh, I think now they're 1900. They went up in price the last I checked. But adapters for four wheel adapters is 260 shipped. And if you're going to use Brembo's, it's another $20. That's for all four corners. So we're looking at $280 for all four corners. The rear is 160 by itself because it's a three piece design and there's a little more involved and some more labor on my part to get it drilled. I drill with the jig, everything's fairly precise. Um, so, <clears throat> 280 plus 1900 for an inch bigger than what's available from Willwood, for example, or if you're gonna use Willwoods, you can use Willwoods that were designed for the Shelby's and you could still use Willwoods. So basically anything that works with these old, with these old, these 2005 through 2014 Mustangs will work with this adapter if you have the wheels to fit it. Um, for example, 13.2 inch brakes will require a 17 inch wheel. If you're gonna use the 11.5s off an early V6 car, 2005 through 2010, then you can get away with 16 inch wheels. So. 
that's a uh, little more. I'm trying to remember what other common questions I've been asked over the years. I've been selling tons and tons of these kits and fairly good feedback from them. Nobody's ever complained about the braking. One guy bought all four, never did get his rears done. Just put the 13.2s on the front. He's got them on a 68 charger. And he says, more braking than I could actually ever practically use. And that's with the 13.2 twin pistons. So, I mean, it only goes up from there and it was dirt cheap for the brakes. Um, another fella, he spent a hundred bucks off Craigslist for an entire four wheel disc brake system, plus my adapters, you know. And so that was, again, very affordable for less than four or five hundred dollars. He had an entire braking system for one of his project cars, I think a GTX or something. So this works on B bodies. This works on the C bodies if the spindle matches the B body one. And it works on 73 and later A body spindles because this is actually drilled for the disc spindles and the drum spindles. So now <clears throat> for the drum spindles is bolt on, same with the disc spindles. Uh, on this side you can see I still have my drum, the drum hub and the drum spindle. On that side I don't have the drum anymore, but I have the drum hub and the drum spindle so if your suspension is in decent shape you don't even have to do your alignment it's just a matter of bolting these brakes on hub board diameter is 70.5 millimeters on a ford and it is 71.5 millimeters on a dodge so you will have to either turn down your hub hub board a little bit or open up the rotors themselves in order for them to fit snugly uh, what you're doing is you're moving half a millimeter of material. It's very simple and Nobody's ever had issues with it including myself and you will need longer wheel studs, but Moser sells them for $25 as of this video because prices do change yearly um, As far as the master cylinder goes mine doesn't have anything yet But yes, you will have to accommodate this brakes when it comes to your plumbing. You can't just use a drum master so you could either use the Mopar performance adapter and use any modern two-hole master cylinder by modern I mean 60s Camaro 70s uh, for example Corvettes Willwood you can just use a Willwood bolt-in you know it so it entirely up to you how you plumb it uh, the, the cheapest option would be Dr. Diff currently sells a disc brake master cylinder four-wheel disc that will support these brakes no problem I think he asks $95 um, but that's as of this video his prices of course may also change so <clears throat> there are there are a lot of options out there as far as plumbing goes the most affordable one being Dr. Diff um, I do not sell the calipers and rotors that is up to you to find but like I said, if you were to go with a four piston Brembo, you can get the, the calipers for dirt cheap. If you wanted to go with the 13.2s, you can get the calipers even cheaper. So it's up to you to find the calipers and rotors. Uh, I give you as much info as you want. You can contact me. But if you're looking for these brakes, um, yeah, hit me up. I myself, unfortunately, haven't been able to test them out. I haven't driven on them or anything, but numerous customers have. And I've sold many, many, many sets, and none of them came back saying that they didn't work and they were unhappy with them. A lot of people saying it's the best thing they could, they've ever found. So, yeah, if you're interested, hit me up. And uh, until then, have fun and stay safe out there, guys.